Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I use the wheel option strategy to generate passive income. This strategy has become one of my favorites for consistent low risk profits. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of my recent trades, how the wheel strategy works, and why it is one of the best strategies for passive income in the options market. If you're new to my channel, my name is David Dance, a retired engineer, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Think and Retire. If, if you're interested in building wealth and income from the stock market, please consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I upload new videos every week, you are notified. In this video, I'm going to talk about my recent wheel option strategy on three stocks. One is McDonald with the ticker symbol MCD, the next one is Boeing with ticker symbol BA and the third one is Chipotle with the ticker symbol CMG. Please note that in order to understand this video you should have some advanced knowledge of trading options such as the implied volatility, delta, theta decay, strike prices, how to sell call options, put options and so on and so forth. I made this video based on a recent suggestion by one of our viewers Wealth Infotainment 23 on my option trading video which I made some time ago. Thank you Wealth Infotainment 23 for your valuable suggestion. I have included the link to that video in the description box below. In a nutshell, this strategy involves selling cash secured put options until the shares are assigned, then you start selling covered calls on those shares. It's a great way to generate passive income in both up and down markets as you are collecting premiums on every option you sell. Here's how it works. You start by selling a put option on a stock or ETF that you would not mind owning at a particular price. You can sell that put option in two ways. One is the cash secured put and the other one is a naked put. But I will highly recommend not to use the naked put if you are just a beginner. I have used both cash secured put and naked put successfully in my trading accounts. Now three things can happen with the put option. Number one, if the stock price remains about that strike price, the option will expire worthless on the expiration day and you keep the whole premium and you repeat the whole process. The second option is you gained a certain percentage of the premium, which is the maximum profit, then you buy that option back and you close the trade. Then you go back and repeat the whole process. And the third thing that can happen is you do not want to get assigned on the shares. So you close the position, that means you buy that put option, whether you are at a loss or profit, and then you move on to the next trade. And the third step is if the stock price drops and goes below the strike price, you're assigned shares. That means now you have to buy the shares. And then you start selling covered calls on those shares until A, the shares are called away. That means you have to sell those shares at the strike price of the covered call. Or number two, you can buy those call options back at a profit or a loss. Or number three, you close the position of your call option in keep the shares and then sell them at a later date at an elevated price. This whole thing may sound complicated, but once you know the mechanics, it's very easy to understand and implement. Believe me, I have done it and I'm sure you can do it too. There are a lot of YouTube videos on this subject matter, but if you really want me to uh, publish a video based on my exact strategy, how I select the stocks, what the expiration date, what is the strike price, and how I enter and exit the trades, please write in the comment section below and I will make a detailed video in this particular topic. But basically, it's a cycle of consistent income and that's the reason it's called the wheel strategy. Now let me dive into the real world examples on how I have been using the wheel option strategy in my trading accounts. In the last three months in one account, I have done wheel strategy on about eight stocks. But in this video, I'm going to only focus on three stocks. Keep in mind that one option contract is equivalent to 100 shares. And for this video, I'm going to use one option contract and I will also not consider any commissions for my calculations just to keep things simple. On June 7, 2024, McDonald's Corporation, which is the ticker symbol MCD, it was trading at about $260 per share. And I sold cash secured put option at $260 strike price, which was expiring the same day, which is June 7th, at $1 per share premium. So that means I received $100 as a premium because one contract is 100 shares. I did not include commission in this calculation. 
At close of the same day, which is the expiration day, the MCD closed at $256.21. So it's below the strike price of $260. So the broker debited $26,000 from my account and gave me 100 shares of McDonald's at $260 per share. But here I'm at a loss at the moment because McDonald's stock closed at $256.21 on the end of that particular day. So that's the number one thing that you have to consider that you should buy a quality company at a reasonable price. So if the price drops below that price at least you know that it will come above that or in the future it will go up this is the first principle of stock selection for the wheel strategy make sure that you are buying the right company at the right price it may not be exactly but at least you know that the price will go up in the future this is the reason it's called cash secured put because i had twenty six thousand dollars in my account to make this trade happen if you did not have this money, then it's called the naked put and the broker will make the decision whether they will allow naked puts in your account. Again, as I mentioned before, naked puts are very risky and I will highly recommend not to use it if you are new to trading. On July 12th, I sold $260 strike price call options, which was expiring on August 2nd, 2024 for $4 per share. So that means I got a premium of $400. On August 2nd, 2024, the option expiry date, the McDonald's closed at $276.70, obviously above the call strike price of $260. And my McDonald's shares were sold at $260 per share. Few things to note on this trade. Uh, as you can see, I did not make money on the share price of the stock because I bought it at $260 and I sold it at $260. But I made $500 in this trade, $100 by selling put options, and then $400 selling call options. So that is one of the disadvantage of the wheel strategy. As you can see, your profit potential is limited on the wheel strategy unless you apply some other creative ways like the rollover to your options, etc. The second example is on Boeing with the ticker symbol BA. On June 5, Boeing was trading at around $189 and I sold 187.5 put expiring on June 7th at $1.55 per share. That means I received $155 per contract as one contract includes 100 shares. Next day on June 6th, and my 187.5 put was trading at 20 cents. So I bought my put options back for a total of $20, which is 0.2 times 100. In this Boeing position, my profit was $135 per contract, like $155, which I received when I sold it and $20 when I bought it. If I had 10 contracts, that is if I had the money for buying 1000 shares, I could have made $1,350 in one day. The point to be noted is that the will strategy normally requires a large account. Example number three, this is on Chipotle with the ticker symbol CMG. On August 20th, 2024, CMG was trading around $52. I sold $52 strike price put expiring on August 23rd for 70 cents a share. So I received $70 per contract. I kept my position open as I noticed CMG was trading above $52 for the next few days and I let it expire worthless on August 23rd, the expiration date, as CMG closed at 53.7, which is above the strike price of $52. The beauty of this strategy is that it allows me to be patient with my trades. If I'm assigned a stock, I do not panic because I know I bought a good company. And also I just shift gears and sell more covered call options. So it's a win-win situation. So why the wheel option strategy works for passive income? Number one, steady income. You're consistently earning premiums on the options you're selling, whether the stock price is going up, down or sideways. Number two, low risk. By selling cash secured put and covered calls, you are actually generating income with low risk 
compared to other aggressive strategies. Number three, repeatable. This strategy works in cycles, so you can keep on doing it over and over again. Number four, flexibility. You can pick any stocks of your choice, any expiration date, any strike price, depending on the risk tolerance level. Key tips for running the wheel option strategy. Number one, pick stable stocks. As I mentioned before, pick a stock that you do not mind owning for the long term in case if it comes to that situation. Number two, set realistic strike prices. Just make sure that you are comfortable with the strike price so that if the stock is assigned, you know that you got a very good deal. Number three, understand implied volatility, delta and time decay, which is the theta. Make sure you understand these concepts because that will affect the premium of your option. Number four, be patient and avoid earnings. Just make sure the earnings date do not fall before the expiration date. And number five, use dollar cost averaging. If the share price continues to drop and if you like the company, you can buy more shares and you can use the dollar cost averaging to get your average share price down. To wrap things up, the wheel option strategy is an excellent way to generate passive income in the stock market. By selling puts and covered calls, you create a steady stream of cash flow with low risk. I have personally used this strategy to grow my portfolio and in my opinion, it is one of the best income generating strategies for long-term investors. If you are interested in learning more, drop a comment in the section below and I will try to answer those questions. And if you have already tried the wheel strategy, let me know how it is working for you. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, please like and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so you are notified whenever I upload new videos. See you in the next video. Happy investing.